Hello everyone, welcome to the Outside World Entertainment Cooking Channel. Today I'm featuring Davy making Balambi Achar. Okay, so now that we got our um, Balambi here, and we're going to prepare the Balambi Achar. It's kind of almost like a curry. And we have the steam frozen Balambi. We have garam masala. We have some black pepper, some crush, hot habanero, mustard oil. We have garlic, crushed garlic, and some roasted jeera. And these are the only ingredients I'll be using. So stay tuned. Oh, and of course some salt. So I'm gonna, so the pan is now warm and I'm going to add about four tablespoon of mustard oil. That's two. And another two. I don't want it to warm too much because I don't know if mustard oil can be heated on high temperature like vegetable oil. So I'm adding about three tablespoons of garlic. And I have two tablespoons of garam masala. I have some black pepper. And you can use a char masala if you want, but I don't have any at the moment. And my mom used to make it with just garam masala. So that's what I'm doing. And this is just jeera, ground jeera. So I'm adding about one tablespoon. Give this a good mix. Mmm. Mustard oil is very pungent. The real mustard oil we used to get back in the days, you cannot even open the bottle and sniff it. It burns you. goes up your throat. Now I'm adding the balambi. Wow. Smells so good. And I'm gonna lower the heat and I'm gonna cover this and in about five minutes I'll see you. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now. I'm gonna take a look. And now I'm going to add the salt because I didn't add it earlier about a tablespoon you can add a little bit more because this is just a char so it's not like you're eating it like a dish it's just a side dish and now what i want is i want to i want to mix this up break them so they cook into small pieces I'll be adding pepper, but I don't want to add the pepper right now because I'm cooking this indoor. And the pepper might just be getting into your nose and your eyes and everything as the heat catches it. Alright, so I've got to cook a little bit more. So I'm going to cover it and let it cook. So it's been cooking about 10 minutes, and let's take a look. Oh wow, it's simmering away. Oh, and it's gotten really soft now. Okay, I'm just gonna let this cook down a little bit because the balimbi was um, frozen, so it still has some water. And once all the water has been burnt out, I'll add the pepper. Because the, with the water burned down, it's going to stay longer. It's not going to spoil easily if we get all the water out. Alright. 
So this is actually the texture I need. Just gonna wait for it to um, simmer down a little bit. I'll add the hot pepper. And that's it. The char is ready. Okay, so as you can see, the oil is separating from the um, balambi. So that means most of the water is like burned down. Like if you watch, you can see the oil coming together. So now this is where I'm going to add my hot pepper. So look at this. Look at this bad boy. I'm going to add as much pepper. And as you know, we love spicy stuff. And this you can just eat like a quarter of a teaspoon with your meal. Oh no, it's a char. So if you know what a char is, you treat this the same way as a char. Or you can make some bara and use this as the chutney to the bara. Or palauri. Wow, look how beautiful this turned out to be. The pepper really makes the color stand out now. You know what? In Canada here, most of the um, supermarket Filipino or Chinese Oriental market, in their freezer section, you can find bolombi. And it's very cheap. It's like a dollar twenty or something for a pack. So this cost me like about two U.S. dollar. Alright guys, so give this a try and let me know.